All right, so today uh, I have here <clears throat> a Armitan Tadpole. So this is <laughs> Armitan's uh, version of a toothpick, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it, it's a pretty cool frame, and it totally reminds me of, you know, like a rooster, a chameleon, uh, marmot, whatever. You got the cage in the front. Aluminum in the front and back, just like all their good frames do. Um, this was designed to be 16 by 16 stack. As you can see here, it has the 16 by 16 mounting holes. Uh, but, and I think that that's how that that was like the only option when it first came out. But then they realized that people wanted to use the whoop style flight controllers, I guess, and they supposedly added some kind of like TPU bracket or something that you could use to mount it but this frame did not come with that and I don't know why I don't know if because uh, here's the thing there there's these other holes you can see here there's this hole in the back here and hole in the front here and it lines up perfectly with the uh, mounting on the whoop style flight controller so I have no idea if that's how it's supposed to go, if, if they intentionally put those holes there for that reason, but it worked out for me. And uh, if you see how I have it, so this this has a whoop style flight controller and then it also has the uh, Runcam Split 3 Nano Whoop HD Cam. So I have two stacks here. And you can see that I used a little M2 standoff, M2 screw, and M2 nut to hold these together. I didn't actually have to do that. Um, I just did that this morning, actually. I finished this last night, but then this morning I was looking at it, and I was like, look at this. These plates are, like, perfectly separated this certain length apart. And I was like, I wonder if a little M2 standoff would fit in there. And it did perfectly. So now these two boards are just totally solid um, and then like I said it just has the two screws it, it reminds me of like a Primo and funny that I just now thought of that because I do have a Primo sitting here so that's the same way that the Primo is it has two mounting positions and that's it even though the whoop style flight controllers have four two works just fine so that's what I did in this situation. And like I said, I don't know if they did that on purpose. Um, I, I'm thinking yes, because, you know, why else would those holes be there? <laughs> there? There would be no other reason for those holes to be there. So that's got to be it. But like I said, they mention on their website and anybody else that sells this frame, it says right in, right in the description that it now comes with a whoop style flight controller mount. Um, and I saw it in a picture, I think, too. It was like a TPU piece, I'm pretty sure. But it doesn't really matter because the way that I have this right now, it's so solid and perfect that I wouldn't even want to use any TPU mount instead anyway. So uh, this also has the Crossfire Nano, and I have it in the front here right behind the camera. Um, and then in the back here is the... Rush Tank Tiny or Tiny Tank VTX, which is a pretty cool VTX uh, for anybody that hasn't seen it before. Let me show you because I think I have another one here. Yeah, here it is, super tiny. Um, actually, I have a Pro 32 Nano here too. Let me get that for a comparison. I haven't even actually done this yet. Oh, pretty close. It's maybe like two millimeters longer. And they're the exact same width. So basically the same size as a Pro 32 Nano. Well, a little bit thicker because it does have this uh, heat sink on here as well which you could probably take off, but I don't know if you would want to because it probably does its job and takes the heat away. 
But uh, yeah, it's a nice little VTX. I used it on another quad and it's working great. Smart audio and everything. I think it's only 200 milliwatts though, which, you know, big deal. 200 milliwatts is a lot. People, ever since these 400 milliwatt VTXs came out, people are like, I don't know if they're spoiled or what, but you don't really need four. I mean, from 200 to 400 isn't, you're not going to even see a big difference really. So, um, on this frame, there's, there's enough room. I mean, you can see here that there's a good, like 10 millimeters or something left of space. It's kind of weird how this frame goes. It goes at an angle, like it goes higher in the front and then goes lower as it goes back. <laughs> Which is kind of different, you know, but uh, there's still lots of room in there. So I'm sure you could fit your stuff on top of here. I mean, especially if you're not using an HD cam, uh, you got plenty of room for everything. But And then also, I don't know, you can see where the uh, cam mounting screws go. It's almost all the way forward, and you can see the lens is sticking out just a little bit. So it can be slid back, and this, this particular camera actually has a really long lens, so uh, if you were to put like a Runcam Nano 2 or something like that in here, um, I think you'd probably want it all the way forward, and it would probably be just behind the aluminum, so. Pretty nice layout, design, I like it. Fits 65mm props, I'm sure most people will probably be using a 16x16 16 16 stack, but... Uh, Whoop style flight controller works pretty good on here. So this is uh, for you, Reggie. I already went through all, oh, I didn't go through all the parts. Uh, besides everything I said, it also has the GEPRC 1202 8000KV motors. I like these motors, they're nice and smooth. Perfect for a 65 millimeter prop. Uh, I did flash it to 4.1.1 and uh, your button for your VTX is right here. Clicking it right now. And then your button for your receiver is right here. Clicking it right now. Uh, but you might not need to push the button on the receiver. Uh, you might be able to just hit bind on your module and uh, you'll probably have to update it or downgrade it depending on what you have on your module. But mine's on the newest firmware and I updated it to that so that's what it's on. Uh, these are also the HQ T65 by 3 props. Awesome props. Really awesome props. Definitely recommend them on any 65 millimeter build. They're awesome. SD card goes in right here. Very easy to get that in there on the top. And I think that's it. Oh, and since I separated the VTX, I mean, look how far away the VTX is from the crossfire. I mean, it's far away as possible. So your video looks nice and clean. Even when it's armed and everything, it looks perfect. So that's good. Welcome to our VTX. All right, so let's look at the video. Oh, I was going to uh, zip tie the XT30 to these uh, aluminum pieces in the back here because I think that would work good if I zip tie it just like that then you can just plug your battery right in easily or I can just leave it I don't know I think it'd be better if it was zip tied so that way it doesn't have a chance to move around and hit the props at all okay So there's your video. Real light, real light lines. You can barely see them at all. Actually, I don't, 
I can barely see him. It's, it's it's better than normal. So yeah, that looks really good. Uh, actually, let's check it while it's armed. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. No, no changes at all. Nothing changed. It it still looks crystal clear. It's perfect. All right, let's do a hover. This is a GNB 453S. Here we go. It's just flying so good. So good. Uh, any other questions I think people might bring up? The frame, I believe, is 17 grams by itself. Um, let's check how big it is. Somewhere around 120 millimeters. I think it's exactly 120 millimeters. Motor to motor. And I'm pretty sure it's two millimeters thick. Yeah. A little over two. Could be two and a half. Oh, uh, it's two. Yeah, right on the dot, two. Uh, I like the wide arms, though. So even though it is just two millimeters thick, it has wider arms than a lot of other frames in this category. So. It's going to be pretty durable, especially the front cage. That's going to be real tough. So yeah, that's it. Uh, let's get a weight with it without the battery. Oops. 67 with no battery. So, a little on the heavier side, but not too heavy. Definitely not too heavy. 67 isn't bad. And then with a 453S, you got one 108. 108, 109. Not bad, especially for a little HD ripper. All right, there it is. I will get it boxed up and shipped out and send you over tracking when I have it. All right, thank you.